Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. You ever have a form that just won't open where you want it? You save its location and you make a design change, you save it, and it just won't open there. It won't stay where you, it won't stay put. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the move size command to have a form open exactly in the spot that you want it to open. Today's question comes from Natalie in Carmel, Indiana, one of my Platinum members. Mmm, Carmel, yummy. How can I ensure that my Microsoft Access forms open in the exact location I want them to, even after making design changes? It seems like no matter what I do, Access opens the forms wherever it wants to. Is there a way to use VB Code to program the forms coordinates so that it always opens in the specified location? Yes, Natalie, I've had this problem too. Uh, I've moved forms, you know, you, you go to design view, you save the location, you go back to form view and it, it pops up wherever it wants. And yeah, it's just, it's a quirk with access. 99% of the times it works fine, but that once in a while, it just, mm, it just doesn't go right where you want it to go. So we're gonna use some code to, to make those little forms go where we wanna put them. So we're the boss. All right, this is a developer level video. What does that mean? Well, that means we're going to use some VBA. If you have never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video first. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. VBA is not scary, folks. It's not tough. Go watch this. And also, go watch my status box video. This is how I like to display information. Go watch this video, too. It's so instead of message box and stuff, we can just put messages in a text box on a form. It's really easy to do. These are free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch them and come on back. I'll wait for you. Well, not really. Hit the pause button and go do that. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download it off my website if you want to. Now, normally in Access, if you move a form, all right, even in form view, you don't necessarily even have to make a design view change. But if you hit the control S, save that form in that location. If you close the form and then reopen it again, it stays in that location. 99% of the time, this works just fine, right? Move it over here where you want it to start up, save it, close it. I got a button up here that opens up, but you can just go over here, open it up. There it is. Same thing with the customer form, right? That's its opening spot by default. If I moved it, let's say I want it over here, and I hit Control S, save it, and then close it. And if I open it up again, most of the time, it opens up there just fine, but it doesn't always. I've got databases that are pains. Every now and then you make a change somewhere and this form now all of a sudden it's opening up over here. Ugh. So we're going to hard code the location that we want this form to appear in with some VBA. Now, first, in order to do that, we have to get the location, we have to get the coordinates of where this form is. All right, so let's close this guy. Let's do it with the main menu. This is easy enough over here. You can do it with any form though. Go to design view. All right, we'll use our little hello world buttons here and we'll say get coordinates. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger too, so we got some more room here to see what's going on. Okay, right click, build event, that goes into the code editor. Here we are, right down there, it's over here. Now, instead of status hello world, I wanna see the top left height and width properties of this form. So to do that, I'm gonna say status, that's my status function, right? Top is going to be, and we're gonna add on to that, me.windowtop. All right, that is the top coordinate of the form. That's how far it is from the top of the inside of the access window. It's all relative to this little point right there. That's zero, zero, where my cursor is right there. All right, so this guy is gonna be this many from the top down, okay? All right, what's the next one? Status, the left coordinate. Me dot window. guess what, left. All right, you can also get the height and the width of the window as well, because you can not only control the, the location of the form, you can control its exact size too. All right, I'm just gonna copy one of these guys, copy, and then we'll paste, and we're gonna put in here the height of the window as well. Guess what, me that window, height, <laughs> right? And then we got width, width. Okay, all right, save it. Come back over here, let's close our form, open it back up again, hit the button, boom, there's your coordinates for this form. Remember what me does, me is the current form that you're on. All right, and these are all properties of that form. Okay, now, save this. I'm gonna copy this, 
And I'm going to throw it in Notepad. Let me open up Notepad here. Where's my Notepad? There, there's Notepad. Paste that into there. Okay, there's the numbers that we need for our VBA code. All right, I'm going to slide that over to the side. Now, what I want to do is when this form opens in either the unopen event or the unload event, it really doesn't matter which one, we're going to move size the window to those coordinates. All right, right click, design view, go to the properties for the form, go to events. Now I already have an onload event in here. We can we can jump into that one. I've got a, a do startup function. Don't worry about that. In fact, I'm just gonna delete it for class. You don't gotta worry about that. If you wanna download this uh, this template and go poke around there and see what it is, that's fine. It's in my Rick's mod keep out. It's just stuff to move this window around for me, for class. Um, all right, these are the coordinates that we need right here. I'm just going to copy these and put them back on my code editor over here. And we'll put little we'll put little remarks in front of them. Yeah. Height, right, width, height, left, and top. Okay. Now, this is where we say when the form loads, I want you to move to this location and resize yourself. It's the do command dot move size command. They put it all together into one command. Now it says write down width and height. It's a little confusing because right is actually the left command. It's how far from the right of the screen are you? It's the, it's the same value. It's the same value. So in here, put in 210. That's your left, right? Down is how far from the top are you? So the top, 135, right? Width is 6480 and height is 5760. And these are things called twips. I'm not going to go into what they are, but just, it's a number you need to know, okay? You don't got to remember it. Just copy it. <laughs> Okay, I got a whole nother video on twips and pixels and inches and all that good stuff. Google it on my site. All right, so save it. Always a good idea once in a while to throw in a debug compile, all right? Debug compile, good enough. Come back out here, let's close this guy. Save changes, yes, and open it back up. Okay, and it goes to that spot. Let me move it over here, close it, open it back up and it goes back to that spot. That's nothing new. Let's move it over here, save it in that position. I just hit Control S close it, open it back up, and it goes right back where it's supposed to be. So even if you come in here and make a design change and do something like this and move it and change this and bring it over here and save it and close it and open it, it's always going to open up in that exact position where you saved it. And that's how you do it. You just got to know those coordinates, which you can get easily with a little status, right? And then just tell it where you want it to go. And that's all. Now, thems is the basics. And if you're happy with that, great. Go forth and play with your database. If you want to learn more in the extended cut for the members, what we're going to do is we're going to integrate this in with a systems table. Now, I already have an extended cut for you guys, you members, where we built a system table to save values for the entire overall database. Well, we can use this to save the, those settings, those coordinates for any form in the database. And... We can put all the forms in the database wherever we want them, save them, and we can have them automatically open and close where you left off. So if you decide you want to slide your customer form over a little bit more, when you close it, it'll save its settings automatically. And then when you open it back up again, it's going to start right back where you left it off. If you want that kind of behavior, you can also make a button that says save the form here. and It'll save those coordinate positions. We'll do it with some user-defined functions. So we'll make a get setting and uh, a put setting commands. And then we'll have a, you know, save my form position, open and load my form position commands. And you can do it, then you can do it with any form you want with just two lines of code. One line in the open event, one line in the close event. <sighs> yeah, that's a, that's a mouthful. Um, that's in the extended cut for the members, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And of course, gold members can download all this cool stuff and you have access to my code vault where you'll find all this kill cool source code plus lots and lots of other stuff. On a separate unrelated note, I also have a template available that allows you to open up your access database exactly where you want it and at what size you want it in Windows. So when access opens up, it can either fit itself here or fit itself here or wherever you want based on the positions that you save. So this isn't these aren't the forms inside of access. This is the access window itself. This requires a lot more programming, so it's not part of a tech help video, but it's a template. It's available on my website. Check it out. There's the link right there. And if you like learning with me, come to my website and check out my developer lessons. I got 40 some levels of all kinds of different levels of levels of things with levels in them. <laughs> How many times can I say levels? Lots of developer programs. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like learning with me, go check it out.
But okay, there you go. There is your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing free four hours go watch it and okay okay a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course so I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes and no I didn't just put the video on fast forward <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well now if you like level one level two is just a dollar that's it one dollar and that's another whole like 90 minute course Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay. Want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my access forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. 
you'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.